that just doesn't happen to us. It doesn't go that easy for us, does so it? Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> so you'll see today when the intermediate goes on, you can join behind it, which is great. Until we've run this bit in, we can't put the line on the profile, so fits brick comes in as our team. Right, day two. Happy Friday. Mm. That's why the van's full of boards. We're going to try and put these on the extension roof and give ourselves a shelter so we can carry on. The reason being, this job needs finished before that one goes to Sweden on Sunday. And it's currently Friday. We have bad weather forecast right through. We've got 480 bricks left to do, and yeah. then God knows how many blocks. Yeah, the blocks are put. I can come in, I can do the blocks with a push, but I don't want to be doing the um, up on scattered heights on my own. I can barely walk on my own, never mind, a bit lame. So yeah, we've brought out as many boards as we can get, so we're going to prop them up on the roof and put some kind of shelter up. We've got a couple of lights just in case. Yeah. Uh, we've been to been to service this morning to pick these up from the garage and I got a cost on the way. Yeah, Delicious. Just, just, just left me out. They don't do bacon butters at the BP, sorry mate. No, but they, I bet they do chocolate bars, don't they? <laughs> I forgot to get you a chocolate bar. It's too early for chocolate. Uh, so you're cutting down on chocolate. Yeah, but you know what? It's nice to get a little treat every now and then when you go to a garage. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I need to get my boots on and then we'll get these in and get them up and see what we can cobble together. Wish us luck. That just doesn't happen to us. It doesn't go that easy for us, does it? Don't, don't, don't say that. <laughs> So that took about five minutes with the help of the customer up on the roof with Alex. There you go. Here we are undercover. A couple of eight before ply sheets and then a load of polycarbonate that I keep collecting for spot boards that we don't actually use. So yeah, We're sorted. These are held up a little bit so they fall back to there. We're completely weatherproof now as long as it's not driving in from there. But even if it does, we'll put another bit of something on the end there to overhang. Even a bit of this screen, but I even thought it'd be quite dark but because the poly's quite clear. There's plenty of light too, so we're sorted. We can just get a mix in and get get the profiles up and crack on. We actually took the um, straight edge off yesterday because I wanted to joint up behind it. So you'll see today when the intermediate goes on, you can go all the way up. You don't have to. You can joint behind it, which is great. And then we're gonna have the external here. Happy days. Got loads of insulation to go in here and yeah that's it now it's going to get a mix in which is also undercover the only thing getting wet is getting the sand from outside put that there so it's okay. falling back so uh, happy days we can just crack on now today's the day we've got to really push on because it's at ideal height it's loaded out and we need to make a difference today we'll try and get it finished tomorrow well get it finished tomorrow not try so yeah um, I'll get sorted out in here when Alex gets the mix in. Fantastic. Right, there's our setup. I can't put the profile at the top of the um, corner because we have a roof. That's a good problem to have. So we've got our fixed brick set up. Now we know how to use it. We're flying with that. Um, yeah, that's ready to go. I've drilled out down this end. As you can see, that's um, that's not been plumbed yet. But yeah, it's drilled out, fixed in, our intermediate. So now we can join behind that. Lakes, trouble the box section, and then as we as we go up, we just build a wedge in. Just to <laughs> no need for these fancy brackets. You just build a wedge in, stops it pulling. So yeah, I'm going to get that plumbed up, get the line up, put a bit of damp cross over these two holes that have got full of water, and then Alex got his double decker board. 
so we should get into about another seven courses before we have to maybe sit, fit it down here somewhere. Maybe. I've got, th I've got th just three joints we've got now. Oh, well, have you got one out? Yeah, there's one left out. So we we just need, oh there it is. This is the line clip for the intermediate. Because the intermediate set back off the wall, you have this special line clip. Goes on like that. It's not on band. The results is ready. You get me. A, you get me a couple of buckets. Which, it's tight, but just just manageable. So yeah, absolutely made up with that. And we can see what we're doing too. And it's actually not rained yet. <laughs> So um, I'm going to get that plumbed up, get the line set up and we can crack on with this. Oh, we need to get some insulation in here, in this cavernous hole, for starters. So, um, right, let's get that done first. Even the radio's designed for, for down entries, nice slim line design. Well, it's designed for a back out, but... Well, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> right, we are set. Profile just fitted in. Everything's just fitted in. Just, just had to move with a tiny bit of face board to get that in. That's all nice and plumb. Oh, hang on, it needs, it probably needs going in a bit at the top, hmm? Yeah, hold that a minute. Hold that on. Oh, just that. Have to tighten this wing up at the bottom. It's tight on something, that. I think. I don't know. Can't see. I don't think there's anything up there anyway. It's a. Ah, it's a nail. Uh, Now. Right, right, let's check that plumb again. I need to go out a bit now. Yeah, because that nail was pushing it. So, the other way, we now have to do this ring up. And it's very, uh, very sensitive this one. So, I'd, uh, I'd like to make an observation quick and just say that since we've put this roof, roof up, there's not been a drop of rain. Huh. How's that out? Um, let go. E yeah, I love that. Okay, so now we tighten, once that's set, you tighten the other one up, so that's it, that won't move now. So, Alex has just covered the uh, holes up. Right, let's go. We've, we've asked for some more ties, and we need to get some insulation in here before we get too high. And all set up. So until we've run this bit in, we can't put the line on the profile. So fits brick comes in as our tingle. Miles better than the tingle because it holds it in place. It doesn't like flap about, whereas it can move like it move when you just put a brick on it. Fits brick clamps it in place. So now the uh, the sun's out. Well, at least we're not going to get sunburnt, Alex. Mm. Yeah, it's forecast crap today, but it's forecast crap tomorrow as well. So we're all set for tomorrow as well. Because we're going to be up on hop-ups tomorrow because we can't get trestles in here um, right let's try and get some insulation in, in here and yeah. let's do this
bloody radio. Oh well. Yeah, solid stone that, isn't it? Yeah. Try to stand it up so it doesn't get all scratched up. Because it's pretty mm, stand up. Sure, then. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Like that. So, we're just past halfway, looking good. So, we're past the corner now, so we're back onto the um, fit brick now. We're probably going to be really jointing it every four courses now. So, yeah, it looks alright. The second brick, so they're all wonky. So, you've got uh, the face sticks out in the middle and it dips back in at the, at the arises. So, it, it, it tends to do that a bit when you look down it. But, you can't polish your tears, they say. The second's for a reason. But on the whole, it's going to make a nice wall, which is never going to be seen basically because it's a dead end entry. So, yeah, I can't find another position for the camera.